Combo Nation, this is Grown B, and I'm gonna tell you guys how you're gonna have fun on Multiverses this year, right? By telling you what not to do on Multiverses this year. If you're going into this thinking, all right, we're gonna compare it to Smash, and we can see if it's gonna be better, or if it's gonna be the next Smash, if it's gonna be, it, that is going to ruin your experience on this game. And I'm not gonna say, I'm not saying that it's gonna be easier. Obviously, it, it's natural to want to compare and think about this game in terms of the OG. But if you can tear yourself away from that for just a moment and just play this game for what it is, right? And, and, and don't try to compare the movements, don't try to compare the pacing, don't try to compare the characters or the back. Don't do any of that and just say, man, I'm gonna pick up this game that probably features some of my favorite childhood characters or my favorite current characters when it comes to fiction and comic books and things like that. Just, just pick these characters up, play this game the way they're marketing it to you right and i think this is gonna be a really amazing experience for a lot of us especially especially people who who haven't had a lot of experience with with team fighters like this i think the people that are going to be able to hold this game to the standard of just a new game that some people may like and some people may not like those are the people that are going to have a really amazing time on here I am very excited for this game. It's casual possibilities. It's competitive possibility. I am excited for this. Is I think the first time that a game has come out that that I feel like I want to support it via microtransactions. Like I want to buy the skins. I want to buy these little packs. I want to do more to kind of support what I feel like this game could be. Um, and I think that is mainly because as much as I've, I, I've loved Smash, I haven't been a huge Smash fan. Um, or I'd, I'd say I haven't been a Smash loyalist. I started playing a lot more Smash when Sora was put in Smash. For those of you who might have come over from TikTok, y'all know I have a whole TikTok page de uh, dedicated to Kingdom Hearts. And that's kind of the same thing here. Like, so my advice is to get on here, find a character that you grew up with, that you loved watching, or, or maybe you still watch some of this stuff. Like, LeBron is in here, right? Find a character that you like and play this game, not as the new Smash or the new Brawlhalla or the new Nickelodeon also. Just play this game because it's a new game that you can have fun on with some of your favorite characters. That is what I think is going to be your best bet to have fun. So I guess this is me coming back to my uh, fighting game YouTube channel. All a a clutch here by me and my boy Brucey baby. If you like the video, like it. If you think someone else might like it, share it. And if you want to see more, really hope that you would subscribe.